Well guys, welcome back to the channel. So, I'm back on the syndicate, we're back on the main lake. Uh, and I'm actually currently trudging around the other side of the lake. Um, I'm gonna go pretty much central. I've just had a walk down the uh, one of the shallower arms where I thought, you know, I might be able to see and I haven't seen anything. So, I'm actually coming pretty much central um, on the north bank of the, uh, of the lake. So as you can see, it is sunny, it's hot. But yeah, we're gonna we're gonna trudge around to about midway and see if we can find something. Because at the moment, it's uh, yeah looking pretty barren. So hopefully we we can see something. It's about five o'clock now. I've got a little bit of time. I don't want to panic and you know rush about and just pick a swim for the sake of it. I want to try and see if we can find them today. Usually I haven't uh, you know I haven't got that much time, but I've got you know plenty of time tonight. So I'm only here for an overnighter. Got to be off in the morning, probably about ten o'clock. So. We're here for bike time, hopefully. So, anyway, when I know what I'm doing, I'll, uh, back, I'll be back in touch, and hopefully we're uh, we're sorted in the swim. Right, see you in a bit. Then guys, so a little update. So we're actually in swim 11 now. Might have been a fish, might not have, but it was enough. It was big enough to, uh, you know, to get my attention. So anyway, what I've done is I've actually walked down the swim. It's a bit of a windy path to get down, and uh, I've got to the bottom. And I was having a look, and I didn't see anything. But anyway, I thought, well, this will this will do. We're centre of the pond, you know, pretty there or thereabouts. So I thought we'll go in here, and I know a couple of little spots in here. That I thought, I'd, you know. We'll, we'll give it a bash anyway walked up got my got my um bivy brung that down first because you can't bring it all in one go because it is absolutely a nightmare it's a real windy tight little little uh, pathway down anyway as i got to the bottom i just caught the aftermath now if i show you it must have been a must have been a fish it must have been about here so off the point here not far out either big old uh bow waves and what have you so oh. So all I can imagine is that was a show and I just missed it. So um, I thought, right, that's it now. So what I am doing is just having a little little, little breather. I haven't got anything. You can see I haven't got anything sorted. I'm just having a quick beer. Don't worry, it's not beer a week. <laughs> got a different one for that. But I thought I'll have a little breather. I'll have a little um, little watch for a few minutes just to see. And hopefully something will give, it, give itself away. And I'll be able to, you know, have a little, little drop on it, maybe with a bag or something. But... Yeah, I thought I'll have a little watch first before I uh, start crashing leads about. So that's what I'm going to do. And if not, if I don't see nothing in the next sort of 15 minutes, I'll probably have a little lead about. Now I can see a bit of Canadian in the in the margins, which is good. Now the other swim I was fishing up the shallow end, it was very silty. It was just there weren't really any weed. So um, it's probably a positive sign because there hasn't been anything up that end. So maybe, just maybe they're hanging around the weed because it has been blimmin' hot. So we'll see. But anyway, that's me for now. I'll be back in touch when we know where the rods are. See you in a bit.
Right, so rods are out guys. So what I've done is I've actually got two on a chod. <laughs> shock, shock. So uh, yeah, anyone that's watched before, <laughs> I mean hell, not a Ronnie me. But yeah, basically fish two out to a chod. Reason being, there's a hell of a lot of weed out there. So what I've done is I fished a spot that I used to, used to fish and um, it's nice and gravelly. You get a lovely donk, but it's in amongst sort of the grassy weed. So um, as much as you, you think you get a drop, I just think there's, there's bits of, you know, straggly weed. So what I am doing is just fishing a chod just to make sure um, yeah, I'm going to try and get some bait out on them them two in a minute, but our oh, mates, the uh, flying rats, ain't having none of it at the moment. But the other one, I'm stuck out on this this area where we thought we see a fish. So, um, yeah, I've, I've seen a few, you know, bubbles and bits and bits and pieces going on. It could be bream, could be any roach, it could, you know, but there's a little bit of uh, activity there. But yeah, apart from that, it's just starting to go dead flat. Um, I would love to get some bait out, to be honest, and get these areas prime. Um, but yeah, as you can see, if I do this, you'll probably see. They ain't gonna let me. Whoosh! Here they come. Oh no, only one. Because I've mugged them off about three times. Pretending to throw bait. <laughs> Maybe I'll get some out now. Let's have a go. You watch the whole army turn up soon as these three drop in. Oh, shot Cara. So yeah, I'm not gonna be able to get any bait out until uh, these bugger off. So yeah, as soon as it gets dark, I will get some bait out, but I've got a lot to do still. I've got to sort out this lot. So I haven't even sorted this out yet. And the football season starts tonight. Well, it's Premier League. Proper season started last week. Ready. <laughs> but yeah, I've got to sort all this out. Get the uh, get the house up, and um, yeah, I'll do all that. And I think we'll have a, a nice cold beer. Beer of the week. Right then, guys. So this week's beer of the week. Now, special mention goes to Oliver Smith, who messaged me on after one of my vlogs actually on YouTube and suggested this beer. It, well, it's a lager. It's one that, um, to be honest, I've never heard of. Probably a lot of you haven't, unless you shop in that, that specific shop. Now, I don't usually go in there. It is a little special. Now, I don't usually go in there, but finish the job tonight, going straight from, from work to here. And I thought I'd pop in. I've got myself some burgers, got some buns, and I thought I'd pick one of them up. So, hopefully I'll pronounce it right. But this week's beer of the week, Perlenbacher. Absolute guess, probably absolutely <laughs> totally wrong in it. But I've gone for Perlenbacher or Bacher. So what it says, it's a lager, fresh taste. Uh, just says serve cold and enjoy. So it's a 4.7. Um, does it give us anything else? Nope. Just basically says it's from Lidl's. So it's one of their. Uh, one of their beers, so we'll give it a bash anyway and see what it's all about. Yeah, I've never um, never tried these, these uh, Pearl and Backers before. But it's a, it's a uh, premium lager as they call it. Right, let's uh, go with that then. Right, cheers Oliver, top man. No, I haven't. They're not chilled, unfortunately. Um, which is a shame because I usually like every beer, cider, anything I have, I like them ice cold. Um, but first impressions, that is really nice. Mm. I have to admit, they always taste better in bottles, but that is nice. Yeah, one more bash. Oh, what does it say? Oh, that's all right. Don't store, don't store in direct sunlight. Well, there. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's really nice. I bet they're lovely when they're ice cold. I know you did say ice cold, but yeah, brilliant shout. Right. If you haven't, honestly, get hold of them. They're lovely. Pern and Backer. Nice one. This week's period of week. Pern and Backer.
Right guys, as you can see, I'm still performing. So that's the only thing you get to do, get some bait out. So um, definitely get some bait on this on this spot, but they're being a pain in the backside to be honest. The uh, house is up, we're all set, we're all organized. Um, like I say, the only thing I need to do is get some bait out, but I have, I've seen a couple of fish. Well, one, an, an extra fish roll on this spot and it definitely weren't no roach. You know, the amount of water it turned over. So you never know your luck, but I'd like to get a little bit more, more bait out if I'm honest. So yeah, I'm just waiting on that. So what I'm going to do is probably tuck myself in, watch this second half of Palace against Arsenal and uh, yeah, get some bait out. Hopefully in the next sort of 15, 20 minutes, it'll be dark enough to get some, some bait out of that and them little sods finding it. So yeah, it's uh, honestly deadly quiet now, guys, apart from the old planes going over. But I've, I've probably walked a quarter of the lake, it's 140 acres, probably a quarter of the lake and there's no one on. I haven't seen another angler, so lucky really. I mean, a <laughs> bit of a difference to uh, Coke and Farm, the other, what was it, the YouTube bloggers match a uh, week, week before last. Um, but honestly, as much as it's brilliant, it's so funny, you know, having a Google crack. If you haven't watched the vlog, go and have a look at my last vlog and have a have a look yeah some familiar faces on there the guys that do the vlogs and stuff yeah good to good to catch up and stuff but we were so close man we been next door you know, almost holding hands through the night it was that living close so um yeah it's a little bit a little bit more me I, I prefer this sort of style of fishing just tucked away and you know they're a bit more elusive but you know when you do get one they're, they're that you know you've earned that that sort of uh that bite if you like so that's my style and everyone's different. Some guys love a hit of fish, but I'm struggling every time. You know, if I get two, well, a bream in the night, I'm digging in. The old mince pies are red. Flipping nightmare. But yeah, anyway. Right, guys, well, fingers crossed. We don't get absolutely plagued by bream and we actually, um, yeah, get into some of the carp. Fingers crossed. So hopefully, guys, we've got something in the night. If not, I'll catch you in the morning. Cheers. Right, good morning guys. Unfortunately, nothing on the carp front. But I did get a take on the right hand rod where we see the fish. But no, it wasn't it wasn't the bream. Poxy roach this time. So uh, yeah, now we got a 15 mil pop up in his gob. Oh, God only knows. But there you are. So yeah, roach this time. <laughs> oh dear, never mind. But there was a few liners in the night. Uh, one or two that were quite aggressive. You know, bobbing hit, hit pretty much the blank and then just slowly dropped back down. So um, yeah, it got me out of the bag anyway, but nothing, nothing's really happened this morning. It's been pretty flat. So unfortunately it's getting to that time where I've got to obviously start packing this lot up, reel, up, reel them in and get up that poxy hill, which I'm, I'm not actually looking forward to, to be honest, I'm putting it off. But never mind, never mind, it is what it is. 
we've enjoyed ourselves that's the main thing so right so on them beer of the week suggestions guys please keep them coming in i know one or two of you have um you know messages almost every time i'm doing the vlog which is great because it will just keep my memory you know to try and you know try and find them ones if i haven't done it's purely down to the fact that i haven't seen them yet but when i do i will pick them up they're probably not in the shop that i'm you know going to but i'll find them so yeah keep them coming in guys and keep them nice comments coming in because i do respond to everyone and um yeah they keep the motivation to keep doing it but i'm uh, i'm going to be away now i'm going on holiday with the family we're going to florida so we've got two weeks out there which is going to be brilliant really it's going to be absolutely well, it's a special holiday we haven't really um had a two-week holiday well no one has for a little while have we you know with covid and everything so looking forward to that so i won't be getting a vlog out for a for a good three weeks so that's uh that's what it is but when i get back i'm really hoping to try and put a bit more effort and get up here a bit more this work's been absolutely mad you can imagine leading up to a, a holiday so i've been having to you know get everyone you know try and get these jobs finished and what have you so i haven't really had the time to be getting up here and doing laps and walking the dog up here and stuff like that so i'm hoping to get a little bit more time up here even you know recce's and baiting up and then hopefully we'll get we'll get into them and find them so yeah rather than dropping in on a friday night and hoping to you know get on them it's just you know don't seem to be the ones but a bit more effort required i think so anyway right guys i'll leave it there take care look after yourselves and I'll see you when we get back from America. Cheers.